what do you think of the many of the Canadian, uh, big Canadian metallurgy or mining companies that have either disappeared or have been bought out by a few, like, so for example, Valley or yeah. Rio Tinto or ArcelorMittal. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I wish our Canadian resources would stay in Canadian hands. Uh, when Valley bought, I mean, Valley uh, buying Inco, uh, the nickel is such a small part of their all of their holdings. Yeah, it's maybe one one and a half percent. So it's it's really it's not very much. And uh, Inco, in comparison to Valley, was were angels. You know, of course it was. A, I'm serious. Of course, it was a long relationship there, and it took years to you know to to mature and all that. And for one of the first things that Valley did when uh, when they bought uh, is uh, they took I think it was uh, the payroll sent it to Toronto from Sudbury, and uh, you know they they piecemealed some departments. You know, this one they're still doing it in Brazil. So you know, HR or whatever it is. And they're not right at hand, you know, or you ask someone something. I mean, the president's not in Sudbury. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're centralized a lot, of, mm -hmm. a lot of it yeah. outside of Canada. <laughs> so uh, they, uh, they could have uh, merged with the Falconbridge, what used to be Falconbridge. Would have been lovely. And, and you hear that a lot in Sudbury. I don't know why they didn't sell to Fox. Yeah. Oh. oh well. So uh, they make decisions, and they're so remote from the decisions that they don't see. I also heard that when they first flew into Sudbury on a chopper, uh, they flew over parking lots, like company parking lots, and someone said, "Oh, look at those nice cars they got. They must be making too much money." Thank you very much. <laughs>